Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you all are doing extremely well. So today in this video, we are going to solve the problem kth largest element in a stream. So this is today's uh, lead code problem, right? So first of all, we'll be understanding the problem statement, then the logic part, and then we'll be coding it up, right? But before proceeding further to the video, if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed my channel till now, then guys do consider subscribing my channel. It will really motivate me to create more such content for you and make sure to join our telegram community as well. The link for the telegram channel is given in the description itself. In case you are not able to join from the link, maybe due to some issue, simply search placement for if We are a family of 7000 plus members there. Make sure to join. Okay. So let's understand the problem statement first. The problem says design a class to find the kth largest element in a string. Note that it is the kth largest element in the sorted order, not the kth distinct element. Right? Okay. Implement kth largest class, kth largest int k integer nums, initializes the object with the integer k and the stream of integer nums. Int add, there is a function. So, what it does, it appends the integer well to the stream and returns the element representing the kth largest element in the stream. Okay, so this is the functionality of int add function. What we have to do, so here the example is given, right? So kth largest, first of all we have, okay, right? And then later on, so kth largest class, in kth largest uh, class we have this constructor that is initializing the value of k and the num setting okay this initializes the object with the integer k and the stream of integer nums right so we have this is the array 4 5 8 2 and the k value is 3 then we are having this uh, we are calling this add function okay so add function is doing what it is adding 3 so basically you have to determine a third largest third largest element from the array okay so for now like if you will make a call for add so what is the third largest element present when you will make a call for add? Third largest element would be 4, 5, 8, 2, 3. Now we have. So third largest would, would be 4. Right? So that's what it is getting returned. Then again add we are having and the value is 5. So we have 4, 5, 8, 2, 3, 5. Now what is the third largest? 5. So that's why we are having 5. Now we are adding 10. So on adding 10. What is the third largest value that we do have? 4, 5, 8, 2, 3, 5, 10. 5 itself, right? So we are getting 5. Then we are making a call again, add, and the value that is 9. Okay? So now our array consists of 4, 5, 8, 2, 3, 5, 10, 9. So which one is the third largest value here? Third largest, first one is 10, then 9. The third largest is 8, hence we are getting 8. Then again we are calling add, and the value this time is 4. Okay, so it, now this 4 will also be included. So even including 4, 2, we are the third largest value is going to be 8 itself. So hence, 8 will be returned. Right? So this is how it is working. You can understand here as well. They have provided explanation. K at largest. So we are simply providing these values. Then K at largest dot add 3 is giving us 4. 5 is giving us 5. Dot add 10 is giving us 5. Dot add 9 is giving us 8. And dot add 4 is giving us 8. Okay, right. So I hope the problem statement is clear for you. Now, can you think of that? What basically we can do for solving this problem? There is a tip, or I must say, you know, a technique or trick that you can have in your mind whenever the question says something like kth largest, kth smallest, something like this. So think about the data structure that is heap. Right. Most probably you can use that one, and you'll be able to solve that question. So here as well as if I have just mentioned the heap data structure. So we will be using the heap data structure only. Now in heap we have two, uh, you know, two options, two options, min heap and max heap. So which one we are going to use here? We will be using min heap here. Okay, when it's kth largest, use min heap. When it is the smallest, go with the max heap part. Okay, so I hope till here the thing is clear. So now let's understand the logic that how basically heap is going to help us. And then we will be having a look on the code part. So these are the given values. What we're gonna do first? We are going to add the array elements that we are having. Uh, we are going to add them. We are going to add them in the heap, right? What kind of heap we do have? 
min heat now one thing is that we have to determine its kth value right kth largest value so we'll make sure that we are having this k values itself in our heap right so we'll be adding the values in the heap also we are making sure that if you know we uh, the size of the heap has been greater than that of k value that is given to us so we are going to pop out the elements from the heap that's what we'll be doing so in min heap first of all we'll be adding this 4 okay then 5 will be adding then 8 will be adding right and no worries like min heap itself will make sure that the minimum value should be at the top as of now i'm just showing the linear representation to you then the next element that will be adding is 2 and as if this is the minimum so that will be at the top right now you can see the size of min heap has become what 4 it has extended the k value four is greater than that of c so we are going to pop the element so the topmost element that is two that is going to be removed right then this add function call we are making now so for add function what logic we are going to put we are going to simply add the value so for now we have to add three so three value is the smaller one so this will be at the top now you can there as well in the add function as well we will put this condition that if the size of the heap is becoming greater than that of it is greater than that of what k value so simply pop out the element so we'll be popping it out okay then we are adding 5 okay 5 so the minimum element here when adding 5 that is 4 so 4 will remain at the top right so now what we are doing is you can see Also, one thing to mention here that as if our function is returning what the kth largest value, right? So when we made a call for uh, passing this value three, so what was the value that was returned? What was the value that was returned? Four, five, eight. Three was at the top, right? Three was at the top. So we removed three. Okay, three was removed, and we'll be returning the top value that is there in the heap now four. So when you are making a call for this one now, so here you can see. Dot at three, you are making calls. So four will be returned. So here also four will be returned, right? And then we have five. So here in this scenario, again the size has been extended than that of k. So topmost value is four. Four will be removed, and we will be returning the element that is at the top in the min heap. Five is there, so five will be returned. Then we have ten, right? Then we have ten. Again we have extended the size, right? So what we're going to do is the top element will be popped out. right and this function returns the peak element so what would be returned 5 would be returned okay so let me write the output here itself so that things can be clear for the first four returned then five then five now this time we have nine this time we have nine okay for now i'm just writing it is in sorted order don't think that this is how it works okay i'm just showing the linear linear representation but make sure in the min heap the value that will remain at the top that will be the minimum value only right so five would be at the top so that will be removed why because on adding this the size has become 4 and 4 is greater than that of 3 so now uh, the peak value that is 8 so that would be returned okay then we have 4 with us 4 with us so 4 is the minimum value right 4 is the minimum value so 4 would be at the top and again the size is extended so 4 will be removed and the peak element is 8 so that would be returned so this is what we are getting and that's what even our output is right so i hope the things are clear for you you must have got you must have understood that what basically we are going to implement so on the same thing we have just written the code as well so here you can see this is the kth largest of the constructor the constructor that has been called so here we are just uh, doing the initialization and we are adding the values that is there in num array to our priority queue right to our minimum heap min heap okay min heap to min heap we are adding the values okay and also in the loop itself we have mentioned that if the size on adding any element the size of um heap has become greater than that of k then simply we will be doing we will be popping out that element we'll be popping popping out the element that is at the top okay and this is the code for this is the logic for our add function so what we are doing is simply first of all we are adding the value and then we are checking that if the size has become greater than that of k simply pop the value right and uh, we are returning the top element only okay so this is it for this video i hope that you have must have understood the explanation part right so i have provided the code even in the description in case you want to have a look so thank you for watching this video guys keep learning bye bye